Today we're going to make a Ramos Gin Fizz. Is that Ramos or Ramos? Ramos, 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 Ramos. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Ramos. Today we're gonna make a Ramos Gin Fizz, but first I gotta get into my way back time machine again. Here we go. It was 1888 when Henry Charles Ramos created this creamy breakfast cocktail. <laughs> yeah, I said breakfast at the Imperial Cabinet Saloon in New Orleans. Originally, the drink went by the name of the New Orleans Fizz, but Henry, <laughs> who often went by the name of Carl to his friends, used to call his creation the one and only one. It's a foamy, fresh, snow white, velvety smooth concoction that became really popular really, really fast. So popular, legend tells us that there'd be as many as 20 young men shaking in relay, passing it down the line, shaking their arms off to make Ramos Gin Fizz cocktails. And later, during Mardi Gras in 1915, 35 shaker boys were employed. And you know, they still couldn't keep up with the demand. That's because the drink requires vigorous shaking. We're talking like 12 minutes here of shaking to reach the right texture. The consistency of good, rich milk. Can you imagine the anticipation of the patrons waiting for their drinks? Gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> ah, hell, gimme a beer. I can't wait any longer. By 1907, Henry opened a bar called the Stag Saloon. That was on Gravier Street across from the swanky St. Charles Hotel in New Orleans. Henry's bar was pretty nice too. Not the image you might get of the French Quarter saloons at the time being a little, I don't know, rough and rowdy. Adorning the walls of the Stag Saloon fittingly were six elk heads. There was a grandfather clock standing up against one of the walls, you know, and it had a gorgeous mahogany bar and two beautiful chandeliers suspended elegantly from the ceiling. You see, Henry was a gentleman saloon keeper. He kept a clean establishment. He never allowed anyone to overindulge in his place. If someone got too loud and drunk and began making a scene, they were asked to leave. He also had a rule whereby last call came at the same time every night, closing up the bar promptly at 8 p.m. <laughs> 8 p.m. Here's your hat. What's your hurry? <laughs> anyway, the Stag Saloon is where the drink's reputation really grew, establishing its place in cocktail history. Even the Roosevelt Hotel in New Orleans back in 1935 bought the rights to the Ramos Gin Fizz from Henry's son and trademarked the drink. This helped to extend the Ramos Gin Fizz far beyond uh, New Orleans. And it was Louisiana Governor Huey P. Long who traveled to New York with a bartender named Sam Guarino from the Roosevelt Hotel to teach the staff at the New Yorker Hotel how to make his favorite drink. Nah. <laughs> with the onset of Prohibition, Henry was forced to close his bar for good. He had served his last gin fizz. And being the man he was, turned over his liquor stock to the federal government. I'm not sure I'd do that, <laughs> but he did. But you know, before his death in 1928, he revealed his closely guarded secret for his recipe to the New Orleans Item Tribune. And we're so happy he did. Unlike, you know, Don Beach, who took most of his recipes to the grave with him. <laughs> so. The first question you've got to ask yourself is, how long do I really have to shake a Ramos Gin Fizz? Honestly, I think you can get away with like 25 to 45 seconds. You can shake it old school or new school. Old school is where you dry shake, that is without ice, everything for, oh, let's say 10 to 20 seconds. Then another 15 to 25 seconds with ice for proper chilling and dilution. New School is shaking everything with ice for 20 to 30 seconds. I guess New School would also include the uh, reverse dry shake, whereby you shake everything except the egg white over ice, double strain the ice out, add the egg white, and shake it again without ice. Now this method will definitely yield a bigger froth, but is bigger really better? Originally the Ramos was served in a small six ounce juice glass. Froth is important though, for sure but it doesn't necessarily have to reach that supersized look of lemon meringue pie. 
<laughs> Today, though, the drink is often judged on how high you can get that meringue. One more thing here. Often the soda water is added to the drink after it's been shaken up. Nothing wrong with that, except that if you add the soda water after it's shaken, it goes straight to the bottom of the glass. It's kind of cool though, you know, as it pushes up the froth, giving the drink a super frothy cap. But what happens when you add the soda water after it's shaken, the drink separates really, really quickly, and it doesn't look nice. And in Henry Ramus' original drink recipe, he added the soda water with the rest of the ingredients and shook it up. He said in his recipe, a little seltzer water, about an ounce, to make it pungent. What he got by adding the soda water while he was shaking was a froth with staying power. <laughs> okay, let's shake, shake, shake it up here. Ah! <laughs> and make a Ramos gin fizz. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> you you've been partying too hard last night. <laughs> maybe maybe you little, need a little hair of the dog to bit you. <laughs> yeah, let's let's you, just give him some gin here. Oh my goodness, that'll never do. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. First thing we want to do is uh, start with some gin. Now, I've been looking it over and I'm thinking, well, I've got some aviation. I mean, really, just use what's on your bar, right? Uh, if you can, use a, some kind of London dry, some kind of dry gin anyway. I'm going to go with tank rate number 10. <laughs> That's potent stuff, right? <laughs> what is that? 40, 47, 47.3% alcohol by volume? <laughs> Two ounces. Next is some fresh pressed lemon, okay? And uh, what we want is uh, a half an ounce. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is, yeah. <laughs> Followed by some lime, fresh pressed lime. And again, what we want is a half an ounce of fresh lime. Oh yeah, that's better. That's good. Pretty much there. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm there. An ounce of simple syrup. There it is, sweet. Followed by an ounce of heavy cream. Now I've got some whipping cream. You could use half and half if you like, if you're <laughs> worried about calories, but uh, the heavy cream works so well. One ounce. Next is an egg white. Um, you wanna be real careful here. I'm doing it separate because you don't want any of that yolk in your drink. Just the white. Oh, look at that beauty. Sweet, nice. Okay, pop that in our drink. Vanilla extract. Now some say vanilla extract was Henry's secret ingredient. Um, probably not, but I love vanilla. A couple drops, vanilla extract. That's it. Oh yeah, look at that. Give that a little stir. Mm, I love vanilla. Mmm, <laughs> I love vanilla. And finally, some club soda. Now, you wanna keep your club soda in the fridge, get it nice and chilled, okay? And we want one ounce into our drink. Slap a lid on. <laughs> and get to shaking. And you know, actually, you gotta make sure that is on tight. Otherwise, it's gonna go everywhere. Now, you wanna shake, I think, for about 20 seconds. This, this dry shake. We're doing it old school, okay? Let's do it. Dry shake, 20 seconds. 
Somebody timing me? Yeah. <laughs> 20 seconds. Okay. Oh, that's a good little workout. We're gonna add one ice cube. Yeah, reasonable size, nothing too huge. Good size though. And we're gonna shake it again. This time it's probably going to take about uh, a minute to two minutes of shaking. All right, and you wanna shake until that ice cube is no longer. Yeah, should have got one of those paint can mixers. <laughs> Just set it up there. Oh my God, that's a good workout. I need some help. Hey, hey, buddy, can you give me, give me, give me some help here? Here, you take over. Yeah, we can do this. <laughs> yeah. Shaking it. Shaking it up here, boss. <laughs> You're doing a good job there. I love that movie. <laughs> You getting tired, huh? <laughs> yeah, getting tired. You take it. Maybe you should pass it on to someone else. Hey, I'm here, Bruce. <laughs> Come on in here. Who the hell are you? All right, I'm here. <laughs> like the I'm your replacement. <laughs> ha! Here we go. Go ahead. Shake to your heart's content, man. Give it all you got. Yeah. Okay. You, you finish it up, okay? All right, I'm out of here. enough, eh? All right, I'll pick it up from here. Finish her up. Almost there. That ice cube is almost melted. Yeah, I don't hear any ice. It's gone. It's melted. Okay. Now, I've got a lovely little glass here. Um, I just think that this drink is so elegant. Now I know traditionally uh, this drink is served in a Collins glass, a chimney style, you know, um, but I'm breaking the rules. <laughs> we have no ice left in our drink. We don't need to double strain or strain it out whatsoever. Just pour it into your glass, your chilled glass. and let that sit for a minute or so and let that meringue set. And uh, one of the ingredients is uh, orange blossom water in Henry's original recipe. He added it to the drink itself, but um, I'm gonna add it after. That way you get the fragrance of it. And we want like three or four drops and that's it. Perfect. And if you want to get fancy, you can just take a little uh, rind of uh, orange here and pop her right on top of the drink. How beautiful is that? <laughs> Let's give it a go. Look at it. Oh. Wow. I'm not really a uh, cream cocktail kind of guy, but this is wonderful. It really is. So many flavors going on. You don't even taste the gin at all. So, make a Ramos Gin Fizz. You won't regret it. And, uh, yeah. It's not just for breakfast anymore. <laughs> Cheers. Next thing is egg white. You gotta be real careful here not to get any of that yolk in your... Uh...
<laughs> I'll be back. I'm going to go get another yolk. <laughs> Shit, man. Hey, plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. Hey. <laughs> Rainbow's Gin Fizz. Hit the subscribe button. Check the other videos out. And do it. <laughs> Fizz up your life, man. Mm. That's freaking good. Got some on my nose.